30 or so years ago, hardly anyone in the UK had even heard of Andrew Dice Clay, only those who had a tendency to stay up late on weekends and watch weird-ass alternative stuff on Channel 4 that wouldn't have been at home on any of the other three channels we had at the time. Too sweary for just for laughs, Clay was in the same bracket as Sam Kinison, Bill Hicks, Eddie Murphy, before he went on mainstream, and the late Gilbert Gottfried. But he had the added bonus of being banned by MTV after the material he used as his on-stage persona, The Dice Man, didn't exactly gel with the powers that be when he hosted the 1989 MTV Music Awards. Little boy blow! He needed the money! And while the audience had a great time, for the most part, the management were mortified and the band hammer was swiftly deployed. Not long after this, he was scheduled to host Saturday Night Live to promote his upcoming movie, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane, Rock and Roll Detective. But it was a perfect storm of bad publicity. Sinead O'Connor and Nora Dunn boycotted the show, even though they played on it at the time. What's that? That is Nora Dunn. <laughs> because you were never born, she was here that night and was accidentally crushed by Sinead O'Connor's amplifier. <laughs> and the audience weren't exactly impressed with his performance. Thanks to this, the film wasn't marketed as heavily as it probably should have been, which is a real shame, as it had everything it needed to be a real success. Rennie Harding, fresh from the set of Die Hard 2, was directing, and the cast is surprisingly solid. Lauren Holly. Go, good day. Wayne Newton. I'm hip. Mm. David Patrick Kelly. Ed O'Neill. Booty time. Booty time, cross the USA. Booty time, booty time. Hey, hey, hey. The aforementioned Gilbert Gottfried. It's the you. Suck in my dick. Robert England. Hello, hello. A young Brandon Cole. And amazingly, Priscilla Presley for some reason, who was recently shown her natural comedic chops in the first Naked Gun movie, and who plays the Ice Queen Colleen Sutton perfectly. When I was 11, I walked in on my father and the Shetland pony he gave me for my 10th birthday. Does that excite you? I don't know. I never met your father. <laughs> Morris Day also shows up for a cameo, and even a relatively unknown at the time, Maddie Corman, it's a joy to watch in all her wonderful ditziness. Can somebody tell me what the f is going on, like, slowly? You see, it all started with this condom factory. All right, you'll let her. Come on. The story is also a little more involved than just a vehicle to get Clay into the mainstream. Bobby Black, Motley Crue's Vince Neil, has just died on stage, and now everyone's trying to find Zuzu pedals. Are you mad? No, I'm ecstatic! Gilbert employs Ford to find her, claiming to be her father, as does Priscilla, claiming to be her sister. Here, take this picture. Uh, no, thanks. I got my own. Excuse me. Unfortunately, just as Ford is all excited about finally getting paid, someone puts pay to one of his new clients, who just happened to be one of his oldest friends. <laughs> so I guess he's taking it personally now. So he begins a quest for answers, including evading hitmen. You guys a band? Sure. <laughs> Got a name? Yeah. Pain. Pain. <laughs> Kooky. Climbing down the Capitol Records building and the fight against music no, privacy. What? Believe the word you're looking for is proof. The film ticks every box needed for an action comedy of the time, complete with fights, car chases. Ah! Mom! Porky style sorority house scenes, big ass explosions. Just a pot pie. Dead koalas. And a musical interlude. I got a 65 Cadillac. Spare tire on my back. Charge called to gold blacks. But I ain't got you. Unfortunately, I can only do that one song. <laughs> well, I also don't mean Puff the Magic Dragon, but only in the nude. Despite all this, it takes itself seriously enough when it needs to, 
and Clay genuinely shows talent and nuance, which for him was unheard of at the time. I mean, he can actually act, and that's not just my opinion these days. The movie can definitely be classified as of its time, and some of the cliches are a touch outdated by today's standards. Jazz, I told you to dress nice, not nice. I mean, uh, what'd you think, this was a date? All right, look, sweetheart, you look beautiful. Afterwards, I'll take you, I'll throw a burger down your throat, we'll have a great time. You're truly a man among men. But Ford himself is a walking cliche, and everyone in the movie knows it. If you can hold off on judging his character until the knob gags are out of the way. He normally gets up a half hour before I do, you know what I'm saying? Come on, down, boy. Down, Stanley. Roseanne Bond naked. Gone. Stanley? Yeah, Stanley. You know, like the power drill. I'd say ignore the low IMDb score and the snobs at the Razzies and enjoy the movie for what it was striving to be. They executed my vet! Need a lift? <laughs> what? You didn't really think we'd kill the fucking koala bear now, did you? 